city of Burlington is taking further steps to tackle its drug crisis. Tonight, city councilors on the Public Safety Committee made changes to a resolution taking a closer look at declaring the drug crisis a public health and safety emergency. Our Lucy Kale joins us live in the studio. What will this resolution do, Lucy? Catherine, this resolution makes the drug crisis a higher priority. Councillors want the topic on the agenda at every city council meeting, and they want to get state legislatures involved in solving the crisis. First responders and EMS work to help save overdose victims. As the city says, by September, the Burlington Fire Department has already responded to a record 386 overdoses so far this year. Um, I think it is important that we proceed with this resolution with the urgency that is commensurate with the urgency of the incredible public safety crisis that our city is now facing. At its meeting Monday night, the Public Safety Committee made changes to a resolution to tackle the drug crisis in the area. Most of the changes were minor language ones, keeping much of the original resolution the same. The resolution adds discussion of the issue to every city council agenda. City Councilor Milo Grant saying it has not been talked about enough. And we need to have an item for each meeting so that we are properly informing the people of Burlington, where do we stand in terms of data around the amount of overdoses, the amount of money that we are, are spending. The resolution also asks neighboring communities to urge the Department of Health to disperse opioid settlement money allocated by the legislature. The money would go towards providing care, treatment, and harm reduction interventions for drug users. City councilors want the people of Burlington to lobby for the money since they say the state has not taken the steps to do so. The state of Vermont has not acted with significant urgency to embrace all evidence-based harm reduction on the statewide level. The committee also wants to hold two public forums to allow community members to learn from harm reduction specialists. And the resolution also asks the governor and members of the legislature to witness the crisis themselves in Burlington. Tonight's conversation was the last one the committee will have on the resolution. The changes will now be sent to the next city council meeting on October 10th. Catherine. Thanks, Lucy.